story at Tannadice and we should have guessed as much as early as the third minute when Big John Clark scored the leading candidate for the bizarre goal of the season award. The word fluke springs readily to mind but that wouldn't bother John one bit if only all his crosses ended up in the net. And in any case it was the only real highlight of a sleepy first half but what a different story after the break. Wall-to-wall -wall excitement and some real quality football. United made it 2-0 with an exquisite goal, engineered by a delightful pass from Billy McKinley and executed with style by Andy McLaren. All in all, a quality production and one which seemed to have the Tannadice side careering towards the last four. But Falkirk had their own thoughts, 65 minutes on the clock and suddenly Ian McCall loses David Bowman in the byline. The cross finds the evening's outstanding player Richard Cadet and the Brockville team are back within touching distance. Great skills by McCall, but perhaps not the cleanest strike of Cadet's sensational night, but it sure was effective. 20 minutes later and Falkirk's refusal to lie down pays dividends. The slow, patient build-up and eventually the ball falls for the ever-hungry Cadet. The little man produces a magnificent turn in the box and the finish leaves Alan Main named in the Scotland squad this week for dead. Cadet peppered this evening with touches like this, a delight to watch and a genuine example of the kind of player you want to pay to go and see. And so to extra time, words of encouragement from both managers but the first public view of Ivan Golatz, the new Mr Cool of Scottish football showing that he does get excited and here's the justification of his worry 97 minutes on the clock and Falkirk proved that you can come back from the dead 3-2 the Burns and no prizes for guessing whose name goes on the score sheet yet again the Falkirk fans celebrate Cadet has a hat trick and it now looks likely that he will be performing in the semi-finals of the League Cup Ah, but wait, remember, this is a tale of the unexpected. 109 minutes played now, and John Clark, remember him from the opening chapter, pops up in the story again. Yet another twist and an amazing evening. A fine finish, no more goals in normal play, and so to the drama of a penalty shootout. That goes to the shed end at Tannadice, a decision which upset Paul Cook manager Jim Jeffries. The first two kicks are converted by Billy McKinley for United and Neil Oliver for Falkirk. And Gary Bowen here makes it 2-1 in spot kicks for the home side. Next comes Greg Shaw for Falkirk. And the big man misses the target completely. And then misery for John Clark. But surely his luck had to run out eventually. However, the pressure was really on the Falkirk players in front of the United support and Dean McCall clearly felt it. And so it was left to substitute Scott Crabb to take the glory. He scores, United are through, and an expensive right boot is delivered as a thank you present to the fans. But Jim Jeffries is still adamant the kick should have taken place at the other crowd-free end where the new stand is being built.